Did you know that there are over 13,000 convenience stores in Taiwan? It is the country with the second highest number of convenience stores in the world, the first being South Korea and for good reason. Taiwan convenience stores are open 24-7 and are all-encompassing. You can pay bills, buy daily essentials, deliver and receive packages, photocopy or print documents, buy train tickets and get all kinds of food items at super reasonable prices. The food is exactly why convenience stores are the first thing I hit up when I go to Taipei and in in this video, I'm going to show you all of the cheap food items that are on my regular purchase rotation at one of Taiwan's largest convenience store chains, Family Mart, known as Quan Jia. And if you've never been to Family Mart in Taiwan yet, prepare to be blown away. But before we get into it, hi, I'm Steve from the Fat Life Project at your foodie guide for today. I like to eat and I like showing you what and where to eat. So if that sounds like something that you'd be into, why not subscribe so that we can go on more fun fat food adventures together. With that out of the way, let's jump straight into it. Let's start with some snacks and you will usually find this snack near the counter next to the sweet potato. Tea eggs aka Thai Etan are basically hard boiled eggs that are marinated with tea, soy sauce and a variety of spices. The egg shells are intentionally cracked all over to allow the marinade to seep in, giving the tea eggs its unique flavor and also these really beautiful marble like patterns on the finished product. You will find these eggs happily steeping in a big pot in any family mart if you don't already smell the amazing aroma beforehand. These Tea eggs are 20 Taiwan dollars or around 65 cents each. And hot tip, if you don't like spice, don't get the spicy mallet version because they definitely do not dial back on the spice. But what you do need to get is this pack of karaage aka Japanese fried chicken that costs just 49 Taiwan dollars or $1.60 US because fried chicken, hello. By the way, did you know that all family marts also have microwaves to heat up all your food? For the price, you get quite a generous serving of fried chicken pieces. I absolutely cannot believe the quality given its price and the fact that it's from a convenience store. The chicken pieces themselves are always tender and juicy. I cannot recommend this enough. While we're on the subject of good value eats, these dumplings are always without fail on my purchase list. Like the karaage, you can also get them heated up to go. There are a few flavors but my constant go-to are these pork dumplings. The pack comes with 10 dumplings and some sauce for just 49 Taiwan dollars or $1.60 US. The pork fillings are so juicy that there is still some soup in the dumplings when you bite into them and this this price, you are not getting anything better. But trivia time, did you know that Taiwan was colonized by Japan from 1895 to 1945? This is why you will see a lot of Japanese influences in Taiwanese cuisine. If you're looking for a snack on the go, my usual purchase would be these cute onigiris which cost around 49 Taiwan dollars or just $1.60 US. If you've never had an onigiri before, well, they are basically a rice burger with a central filling and a seaweed wrap on the outside. There are several flavors, but my personal favorite is this pop floss one. Having this next one never fails to instantly remind me of home as my mom used to always make me this. It is a steam egg dish which is exactly what it sounds like. Eggs are steamed typically with some minced pork or even salted or century eggs. The steaming process coats the egg with a layer of flavorful soup and it is so freaking good. It may sound so simple but to me it tastes like home. This costs 49 Taiwan dollars or $1.60 US. But let's move on to some main meals. I don't know about you, but there's something about a nice bowl of congee that just screams comfort food for me. And you can get this steaming bowl of happiness at any Family Mart convenience store for just 70 Taiwan dollars or around $2 US. I usually get the century egg and pork one, but decided to try something different today and went for the steamed yam aka taro and pork congee instead. I mean, I come from Sydney, which has such a high cost of living. So I just find it incredible that you can get such a high quality bowl of congee at this price point. Definitely recommend you try this. Speaking of comfort food, you will also find a huge range of instant noodles at Family Mart and I can almost bet that you've never had many of them before as they are very localized flavors. I've tried quite a few of these and while they're all good choices, in today's video we're going to be trying out this herbal chicken soup noodles which cost 59 Taiwan dollars or less than $2 US. I cooked this in my hotel room but you can most definitely get them to add hot water and cook it for you so that you can eat it in the convenience store. The herbal soup flavors was so on point. Speaking of localized flavors, you simply must check out their drink section as the variety of flavors that you can get is mind-boggling. My personal favorites are the chilled teas as they are not overtly sweet and are so refreshing. You also get quite a few variations. I like this green tea honey one and also this black lemon tea. 
so good. P.S. Like any good old convenience store, you can also get alcoholic beverages like beer and even sake, but as I'm not sure who watches my videos, it's best to keep those for another time. If you know me, you'll know that I'll never ever forget dessert and who could resist getting this one? It is a very popular ice cream sandwich initially from Japan. This variation of it contains red bean and vanilla ice cream and costs just 69 Taiwan dollars or slightly over $2. I had this in Taiwan summer and it is a winner. If this video has got you rushing off to book that trip to Taipei, you may also be interested to check out my coverage of all the must-try Michelin-rated cheap eats at some of Taipei's most popular night markets. Or perhaps you've never been to Taipei before and are looking for some travel tips. You may want to check out my What You Need To Know Before Going To Taipei video. I have linked both of those videos at the end so that you can go ahead and watch either of those next. But also, if you found this video helpful, informative, entertaining in any way, shape or form and want to see more of me in your feed, I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. It is absolutely free to do, but it really helps my channel out. I also upload every Saturday, so don't forget to turn on that bell notification so that you can start your weekend with me. Until then, I hope that you have a fantastic day ahead or that you've already had a good day. As always, I will see you soon in the next video.